In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can extend your Razer keyboard lighting to other devices, or if you have a different Razer keyboard than the lighting effect was created on, you can extend it to the additional lighting zones that's on your keyboard. Let's get into it. Okay, for some of you guys that follow my channel, you guys know that I just got the brand new Razer Huntsman Elite Keyboard, as well as the brand new Razer Basilisk Ultimate Mouse. So what I've done is I've gone and I've imported my Galaxy effect into Synapse. And you can see right here that all of my other peripherals that I've added since I've created this design are not lit. The only thing that's lit up right now on Razer Synapse is my keyboard and my scroll wheel here. So because I've created this originally on a Razer Black Widow Chroma V2, as well as a Razer Death Adder Elite, you can see it didn't transfer too well to my Razer Huntsman Elite. Now the majority of my keyboard is lit and it's, it's not a bad, keyboard lighting design, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make it better and how you can extend it to your other lighting effects and make it look good. So very first, what I'm gonna do is I don't like the layout of my items right here. It's not what my actual desktop layout looks like. So I'm gonna click on these crosshairs right here and I'm just gonna drag some devices around until it kind of matches basically what I have on my desktop. So here you can see I've kind of organized my layout to be somewhat similar to what my actual desktop layout looks like. Now that I have that all set where I want it, I'm gonna click on save, and then I'm gonna click back on my arrow selector over here. Now from here, the level of difficulty is going to depend on the design itself. If it's a very complex design with lots of layers and stuff, it might be kind of difficult for you guys to expand the lighting to other devices. On this design, you can see I have several layers here and you kind of have to diagnose and understand what's going on with the profile itself. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and kind of work my way up. So if you select any of these layers over here on the left, I'll select this static layer. You can see all the keys that are being affected by this layer. So selecting this layer and you can see each key that has this effect on it is going to have a little green outline around the key. So every key on the keyboard has this outline. Now, if I were to double click on one of these outlined keys, if it highlights every single key just like this, then that means it has the same exact effect on every key. So every key has a static color with the color code 010008. So this layer is very easy. I can just control C on that, zoom out, and I can paste it on all of my devices and control V and paste it. So now I have that static dark blue color on all of my devices. So we'll move on to this layer. You can see that only certain keys are being affected by this layer. So this dark blue layer, if I were to double click on it, you can also see that this layer is affecting these keys and it's also affecting these keys over here but i've double clicked on this bottom left half and this section doesn't light up that's because this set of keys right here has a different details and different options selected than these keys over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and replicate that in my other lighting to reflect that kind of pattern. So this is on the lower left part of my keyboard. I'm going to control C on that 
And I'm just gonna select some other keys in that area on the lower left portion of my setup. So I'm setting some other keys up here, just like this. So this left half, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna paste that effect in there. Now I'm going to go to the upper right and double click on these keys. You can see the only difference is the angle. This is at 127. This angle is at 219. Everything else is the same. So I'm gonna click on the effect that's up here in this right side and just kind of paste that into the right side of my design. So I've selected some, some keys over here for this to be affected and I'll paste that in there. So for this dark blue layer, I've expanded what lighting effects were on my keyboard onto my other peripherals. So I'm gonna move on to dark purple. The affected keys in here that are outlined, by double clicking on that, you can see that all of them get selected. So I'm just gonna copy that effect and I'm just gonna paste it onto some other areas of my keyboard lighting. So I've just kind of dragged that effect over the top middle of my display. Now I'm gonna move on to my next layer. And this is light blue. So I'll double click on the left and you can see this is kind of doing a similar thing where it's got a pattern of light blue going in that direction. If I double click on this side, you can see it's kind of the same thing and it's uh it's moving off in that direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this blue effect and I'm going to paste it into some of my other lights. So I've kind of put that effect on some of my other devices over here. I'll throw some up here on my light strip and I'm also going to make this change the Razer logo on my mouse. And I'll paste that effect in there so now you can see I have some light blue going on on my other devices. And it's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look like it's actually all over my desktop. And you can see that this Razer keyboard lighting design has been expanded to all my other Razer peripherals without a whole lot of effort, to be honest with you. Now, as I said before, it does depend on the lighting profile that you're trying to imitate. So I'm going to do this with one more profile. I've imported my lines design that I replicated from an, another YouTube channel. So with this lighting design, you can see there's kind of an intersect in the middle of your keyboard. So you have waves that are intersecting and dividing in the very middle of your keyboard. And what you need to understand with a wave is that, let me scroll in here. A wave is all dependent on what keys you have selected. For example, you can see this design is perfectly dividing in the middle of my keyboard. If I were to take this first effect layer, which is on these affected keys, all the affected keys, if I take this first wave layer and I double click on this and it selects these, if I were to copy that and I were to paste that into, let's say, this line over here, you can see how it messes the divide up. This effect, these keys, are now no longer dividing in the middle of the keyboard and it kind of messes it all up. To prevent this, this is what I would do. First of all, I would rename your effect layers to wave one and wave two, that way you know which one's doing what. So I'm gonna name this to wave one and I'm gonna name this to wave two. Then for this other effect layer, this bottom one here, I would right click and duplicate that layer. And I would rename this new wave one to wave one peripherals. 
So if you look at wave number two, it actually is only on the scroll wheel. And the reason is because the same thing. I put it just on the scroll wheel and not on the keyboard so it wouldn't mess with that divide that you get. I'm gonna double click on this bottom row here and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to just translate that into all of my peripherals. So I'm going to skip a line and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and replicate what I'm doing on the keyboard with my peripherals. So here I've kind of selected like some horizontal lines basically on my setup and I'll paste that in there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my other effect. So I've copied this row right here. Now I'm gonna copy this top line and I'm gonna put it on all the lighting zones that don't have an effect on them. So once I've selected all my other lighting zones, I can hit paste. And now you can see you've got um, all of your other peripherals have the effect on there, but it is still messing with my keyboard. So for your peripheral layers, what I would do is just deselect all of your keys that are on your keyboard keys itself. So if you delete those out and now you have what's originally on your keyboard or what's originally supposed to be on your keyboard, you can see that you still have a perfectly divided effect going on on your keyboard, but you also have your peripherals lit up as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video and you thought it was helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys are here when I upload new keyboard lighting videos. As always, you guys can follow me on my social media accounts, which is probably the best way to contact me and make profile requests and things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.